I'm going to open up with the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 104. Through thy precepts, I get understanding. Therefore, I hate every false way. I want to give all honor and praise to Yahweh, who the world called God, which is just a title. And Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus. Okay which the letter J wasn't even uh, invented into the vocabulary till about the 1500s, 1700s, it was established. So his name was not Jesus. Okay, he spoke Hebrew. Okay, so I'm just going to go on the spirit, various topics. And this is going to be um, just through the spirit. I'll start off with the book of Job and then I'll continue. The book of Job chapter 9 and verse 24. And this is repetition. Because repetition is the best way of uh, acting out and performing the duties of the Lord. Just like they do repetition in uh, practice for football, repetition for uh, practice for a, a baseball or basketball game, or even repetition for uh, a military, okay? So, again, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So right now the wicked is running the earth with a multitude of this deceit enchantments okay uh, 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 sorcery witchcraft warlocks okay because they're vampires all right they're they show you in their movies it's through all out uh esau edom's so-called white man movies he raped kill, lie, steal, rob, murder. That's all he do over and over and over and over again. He covered the faces of the judges, therefore. If not, where and who is he? So we know who he is now. Because the Lord have made Esau bare. He have uncovered his secret places. Okay, matter of fact, let's get that. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 49 because that's I just paraphrase it I don't want to butcher it I'll read it out the scriptures okay Jeremiah 49 and 10 but I have made Esau bear I have uncovered his secret places where's his secret places calling himself uh, Canadian calling himself uh, the British calling himself European Calling himself Dutch, right? Calling himself white, because that didn't come out till 1681 in the state of Virginia. Okay, black and white that came out to uh, to control the 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 narrative. That's the social construct, and he shall not be able to hide himself. He's not able to hide himself anymore. Look what he's doing over out there in Gaza, in, in Israel, in the land. Look, uh, the Zionists. And then if you say something about them, um, they get their ass on their shoulders. Well, guess what? Putin just said something about you. Well, where is Vocab Malone? Why is he not speaking out about all the, the, the murdering and the blood share, shed of all these children and all these women. They just bombed the embassy over there in Damascus. They attack in Syria. And they keep on pushing this. All this 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 bloodshed. His seed is spoiled. His seed is spoiled, his children. Okay? And his brethren, his brethren, who is his brethren? His allies. And his neighbor, again, his neighbor, his allies, who he do uh, trade with. And he is not. Okay. 
So let's let's verify that wicked in the book of Malachi. Let's go there. Chapter one. And I'll read. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? Because we're questioning the Lord in that moment. Where do you love us at? Uh, Jacob, the 12 tribes. You got the southern kingdom and you have the northern kingdom. Okay. Which are the Latinos, Native American Indians, the southern kingdom. That's uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Okay. Yahawada. All right. Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Because this is a, 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 a long time, a perpetual hatred that Esau has for his brother. Okay. Said the Lord, yet I love Jacob and I hated Esau. So the Lord hates. He hates liars. He hates men that don't have integrity. Okay. Who's proud. He don't like that. I'm going to get that in the book of uh, Proverbs. And laid his mountain and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. That's when they came back in the Renaissance age. All right. And reconstruct the, the world to what it is now. Thus says the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. The Lord is throwing them down now. Okay, because he's in straits. And they shall call them the border of wickedness. Everywhere they go, they bring wickedness. Everywhere they go, they bring their deceit and wickedness. Going against the Lord, uh, fishing out the shrimp, fishing out the, the crab, which are sea roaches. Eating pig, selling pig. Saying you're supposed to uh, worship the Most High, who he called God, Jesus, on a Sunday and not the, the Sabbath. Okay? He said, and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. Righteous hatred. So let's get what I said I was going to get with the Lord hate. And that's in the book of uh, Proverbs. Now, I'm not going to keep this long because my phone have a a limit of uh, recording uh, uh, situation that's going on. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 16. These six things do the Lord hate. Ye seven are an abomination unto him. What? Seven means completion. A proud look. The few, the proud, the marines. A proud look. Who else is have a proud look? Call them have pride month. The A, B, C, D, the alphabet community. And you go talk about them and then they get their uh, ass on their shoulders also. Okay. So, so what this, this world is upside down. Okay. It's defiled. A lying tongue. That's all they do is lie. Every time they open their mouth, if you listen to Esau and he say one, that means you better go to a hundred. If he say 100, that means you better go back to 1. If he say 8, you better look at Z. Don't believe nothing these devils say. And hands that shed innocent blood. They, that's, I just got through mentioning that, what's going on over there in the so-called Middle East, because that's Asia. And heart that devise wicked imagination. Feet that is swift in running to mischief. That's all they do is run to mischief. A false witness that speaketh lies and he that sow a discourse among brother, among brethren. Because there's no peace unto the, unto the wicked. Thus says the Lord. Matter of fact, let's get that in Isaiah. I think it's 48. 48 and 22. There is no peace, said the Lord, unto the wicked. Let's go to Isaiah 59 and 8. 59 and 8, Isaiah. And it reads. I'll start at 7. Their feet run to evil. 
and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Their thoughts are the thoughts of iniquity, sin upon sin upon sin. Wasting and destroying are in their paths. That's all they do. Everywhere they go, wasting and destroying is in their paths. The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their going. They have made them crooked paths. Whoso goeth therein shall not know peace. Okay, so all these nations that go after this devil, that go after his ideology, that go after his, uh, his belief system, that go after his religious system, okay, because the, the, the Bible is about law, statutes, and commandments. In the 613, not 10. How are you going to have, uh, uh, when you buy a, a, just a telephone or a phone, a, one of these new phones, you have a manual, you have a, a, a manual to an automobile, to a bike, to a refrigerator. You have more than 10 instructions how to operate it. So you mean to tell me the Lord just gave you 10 for the whole earth and all the people that dwell therein? There's no such thing. See, that's why you have to study to show thyself approved unto the Most High, a workman that need not to be ashamed, 